with one eye on the semi-finals the Solomon Islands still had to account for the challenge of Tonga in the final Group B stage match of the OFC Men's Olympic Qualifier 2023 it was in the 16th minute when Junior Rocky was first to react to a cross put in by Christian Ohosio. that goal sent the Solomon Islands 1-0 ahead and it wasn't all one-way traffic and Pau Licky Licky his header seemed goal bound had it not been for an intervention by innocent Sina Hanua heading off the line for the Solomon Islands. It would take up until the stroke of half time for the Solomons to score a second goal. Dalton Saini, recalled to Eddie Marahare's side, made no mistake after he was put through on goal with just a keeper to beat. He made sure to send the Solomon Islands into half time. 2 0 to the good. Two minutes after the break. It was second half substitute Calvin Ohosio this time. It's a nice interplay between Norman Winford and Junior David. Left him with the simplest of finishes. That put the Solomons 3 0 ahead after 47 minutes. And 3 0 soon became 4 0. It was a cross played into the area, not dealt with by William Sini Tuli. Hudden Edo Dow skipped free and slammed at the near post past Moala. And at 4-0, the Solomon Islands were cruising. But far from giving up, the Tongan side were resolute in defence. Some desperate defending despite being down here from Sosefo Tolu, who was later sent off, unfortunately, for the Tongan side. But try and try again, and they received an opportunity at the hands of reserve goalkeeper Lucien Sawaga. His miscontrol allowed David John Tua Moholoa the easiest of finishes to score Tonga's first goal of the competition. But shortly after, it was the fifth goal for the Solomon Islands. Wesley Tuitani with a finish into the open net. And the Solomon Islands run out 5 1 winners, and their spectators will be heading to the semi finals on Wednesday where they will take on Fiji.